don't wait because you think there's going to be this big crash, this big correction. There very well might be a little bit of a correction that we don't see this huge crash coming. <laughs> Hey guys, Will Mead here, licensed real estate agent with High Homes Real Estate Professionals, talking to you live from the New England Real Estate Channel. Welcome back. If it's your first time, please subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And the like button. Smash the like button. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am here with Zach Sprague today, our recurring guest from Movement Mortgage. Zach, Can't get rid of me. I know, we I'm just hang so out outside. Hard. Um, but he's so good looking that we have to have him back because uh, the ladies, they, they can't get enough Zach on the channel. So I don't know. I think that's Will over here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but we're repping movement today. Looking uh, sharp. A little, a little PR for the movement lending brand. Love that. Um, so we'll put a link in here uh, to check out Zach and movement and his page. Um, get to know a little bit more about him as well. But anyways, today we want to talk about if you should be scared of rising interest rates. So um, Zach, I'll let you take it away on, yeah. on kind of what's going on, what the state of the market is right now for interest rates. So interest rates are on the rise right now. Um, one of the ways to combat inflation is to increase increase interest rates. Mm -hmm. um, so we are dealing with rates that were in the fours, are, are in the fours now that previously, if you look at last year, the year before, we kind of hit the, the floor, we hit the bottom, the lowest yeah. they've ever been. Um, if you ever want to feel good about where interest rates are at right now, look at the history of them, because it's going to be this really big chart where um, they were up in the 80s at 18%, yeah. and they dropped significantly, um, and they kind of hit the floor two years ago, now they're coming back up slightly. But in the grand scheme of things, I mean, people were ecstatic with rates in the fives in 2018, sure. 2017. Relative, right? It really is all relative. Yeah. Um, so you do have options. Um, just because you're locking in your rate now doesn't mean in the future you don't have options to refinance. Yeah. Um, and that being said, another hesitancy from people is to say, oh, a refinance, I don't want to start over. I don't want to mm -hmm. do another 30 years. You have options where you can do a 28-year mortgage. You can yeah. do a 23-year mortgage. However many years you're into the process where seven years from now, rates drop significantly they're in the twos I can have a conversation with them do a 23 year mortgage with the lower interest rate yeah. um, and then just put everything else back into place in terms of homeowners property taxes escrow things like that so yes it does stink that rates are going up the monthly payments are higher absolutely and nobody likes higher monthly payments on any bills especially your mortgage payment which is usually one of your biggest ones mm -hmm. um, but in the grand scheme of things rates are still incredibly low it is still a very good time to buy right now um, um, I didn't know if you wanted to jump yeah, in on so that a little bit. To answer the question, we're going to say no. Uh, don't be afraid of rising interest rates, but definitely have a sense of urgency because they're going to climb. And they're not going to be climbing, you know, disclosure here, we don't know for sure. We're not going to be climbing by like 1% every, every three months. It's going to be a slow tick. We're thinking maybe a quarter of a percent every three months until the end of the year. So we're thinking you know, we're at probably about 4% right now, low fours. Correct, Zach? Mid, mid fours. Okay, low to mid fours. Zach wants to err on the side of caution here. <laughs> um, but we could be looking at five ish. Um, right around five by the end of the year. Is that fair to say? Yeah, so um, one of the indicators for interest rates, it's not a direct indi indicator, but it's the Fed and mm -hmm. what they, they cut rates, their rates to zero. Yep. Um, they are talking about increasing rates. There's a little bit of a conversation about how many times they're gonna hike rates. Some places are saying they're gonna hike it three times. Other places are saying they're gonna hike it eight times. We really don't know how many times. Um, but jumping on that, they, it's not a direct indicator of rates, but it is an indicator. Um, so in my opinion, I think rates are gonna be in the fives by the end of the year. I think they're gonna continue to climb. Is it a bad thing overall? Um, if you, It depends on how bad you want a house. If, if, if you wanna buy a home, yeah. um, a slightly higher interest rate shouldn't deter you from purchasing a home. If that's Correct. what you really want, do you wanna to continue to pay somebody else's mortgage and rent yeah. from them while rents continue to rise? Because that's another thing. Yeah. Rents are going up. Yep. Consistently every month, every year, they're on the rise. So you're paying your mortgage or you're paying somebody else's mortgage. Correct. Pick. That's a great point. If, if you want to do it, go do it, right? Don't wait because you think there's going to be this big crash, this big correction. There very well might be a little bit of a correction that we don't see this huge crash coming. Um, no. There's just no parallels to the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis at all. So don't expect that to happen, right? So the people two years ago who saw uh, rate uh, who saw purchase prices rising were like, okay, let's wait, let's wait, we're gonna get a deal. Now they're in even worse position. 
um, today than they were two years ago because yep. of the appreciation is so high. So it, it's still rising uh, day to day. So like, I guess what we're trying to say here is don't be afraid of, of interest rates if you want to purchase a house. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because because prices are going to still steadily climb, and interest rates are going to steadily climb, it uh, and we don't we don't see yeah. it really slowing down in the future. Another thing of waiting for a market to crash, uh, another portion of people are concerned or a little overwhelmed mm -hmm. with the process. Um, work with professionals that will go through and take the time to lay everything out for you. Yeah. We'll go through what's associated with a monthly payment because you go on Zillow or Realtor.com and you see that calculator, you're like, I have no idea how this mortgage payment got to two thousand yeah. dollars. What do you mean the property taxes are this and homeowners and yeah. mortgage insurance and this and that? Um, we will take the time, sit with you or on a Zoom call in today's age, go through all the fees, go through everything associated with purchasing a home, um, and it's really Really important to have a good lender and a good agent by your side to walk you through that stuff mm -hmm. so you don't feel overwhelmed sure sure that's a great point so you know just be educated be informed that's the most important thing right now and that's what we're here for so you know I'm sick and tired of hearing the same old excuse the blanket excuse the uh, markets too high and waiting for a crash that's fine but it's not an excuse do you want to buy or do you not if you do come talk to us and we'll see if it's possible um, or just wait 10 years yeah, or, the or, or wait 10 years for the crash. And pay um, somebody else's mortgage for those 10 years. Yeah, Zach's getting a little angry. <laughs> don't want to, you don't want to anger, anger him. You won't like him when he's angry. Anyways, let's, let's wrap this up. Um, Zach, thanks so much for your time. Again, Movement Mortgage um, is the go-to lender in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. They're our favorite. They're who we use for um, all of our deals. And uh, until next time, my friend. Subscribe, hit the like button. Have a great day, guys.